Hello everybody, this is Capes Games and welcome back to War Thunder 101. Today we're gonna look at what the power is of having a small, easy consumable tank. Like in this case, I'm gonna use the A57. And compare it to my big cousin, the KV165, which is the exact same battle rating. So in theory this should be the same in strength. And on especially on a giant map like this, you're not really gonna get seen that easily. If I am not moving, they will probably just think I'm a bush. Just a bush. I'm gonna take this spawn because I wanna go to C because there's a pretty dense forest right next to it and even especially then I'll just be plainly invisible. I got this pretty solid 128mm penetration shell. It's not as good as the C5 uh, it's actually better than the C5 gun. It's only 78mm on the C5 gun. And I like I like this little gun, even though it's just a solid shot AP. You have pretty good pen training values, and you got this gun in just such a tiny package. That's hilarious. The even has, yeah, even it's a muscle breaker front, uh, even if it's just 57 millimeters, just in order to not knock over the vehicle or have to kind of breach hit the rear of the vehicle. That's pretty hilarious that way. But yeah, I literally have no armor. Even just machine guns can real shred through me. My crew are just just those three guys in the rear. If I li just lose two of those, even a solid shot AP, AP shell will either help or uh, probably will break me and otherwise just kill three two out of three members. It's very easy for me to die in just one shot. Anyway, let's move out to C. I'm gonna use my blockers, my binoculars. <laughs> Just a little bit to see if there's anybody up. And yeah, this thing is pretty speedy, guys. 45. Let's go. Busto. Let's go. This guy, this time it's Rush C, guys. Sorry, I'm not gonna rush B. I know the beam, but. B is not really a good place for a little AC to be. <laughs> I got a little bit closer. Not really. Got to, I want to get to the edge of the forest. Oh yeah, I see a tango there to us. I saw it too, right? Oh, C is being captured. Let's stop. Does he see me just yet? Awesome. Doesn't look like he sees me. Fire! Enemy and there we go. That was Grumwell. Pretty easy kill. Gonna go on at first, at second gear, low steer cruise control. Allied forces have captured a zone. Okay, looks clear for now. Let's move out. Let's see if I can get into the cap before they have fully capped it. I personally actually don't think I'm gonna reach it in time, but I hope I can. No, I won't reach it. Damn it. Oh well, back into the forest without the spawn points. Let's see, wow, actually. I don't have enough spawn points to do anything just yet, even though I got a kill. Mm, not even my T34 1940 model. That's bad. One or twenty-two millimeter SU model just fired a shot. So he probably saw something. Let's see if we can find anything. Also, yeah, I got my graphic settings highest, so that also means the highest amount of push around me. That actually kind of gives me a different disadvantage more than it.
Where are they all firing at? Somebody just took out a few of our tanks. Somebody over there, yeah, that's it. Let's see if I can penetrate it. Let's go to the left, down just a little bit. I'm gonna get shot. I'm so gonna get shot. I'm so gonna get shot here. It just needs one more shot for me to pin more to pin one more location, pretty sure. I'm just gonna wait for you for a moment. Turn move to RHD. Get that nice tree in between us. That's better. I can move up a little bit. Oh. Target spotted. Bush. Overway bush. Thank you. That thing is a threat even to me, so I gotta watch out. He just break. He break. Just a moment before. I shot him. Yep, got a pre-aim. Do you have binoculars? We have taken the initiative. There we go. Asus 57, second kill. Oh, crap. That's an archer. Ah! No 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 Ah How did I sur that was a solid shot of a 17 pounder How did I survive a shot of a 17 pounder gun? Oh my god That's official displacement between us And run Oh crap Second angle. Oh my god, this is not good. Running away into this bush here. Running for my life, guys. Oh my god. Okay, this should be good. Tank drifting, guys. Yes. Whew. Little ASU 57 for 5, boys. Aren't you proud? I think that's a guy. Not sure. Oh, that's where the. Attention to the designated grid zone. Get on. Artris. I thought he didn't see me, but he saw me. Oh well. Let's go for the aisle four. Those are our three meteor dispersion bombs. Nah, no, let's not do that. Wait, how much better is this? 77, 73. At range 57, 61. Let's take five of these just in case we need that. 4 millimeters extra penetration. Just in case. I mean, I can go with solid shots, just. HE PLR is just more effective. I've tendency to get out. 
the limit of the range is for a three strike on this map. Pretty sad. Now you're gonna also gonna see one downside of Russian guns. This kind of environment. If you cannot aim down, boys. You can't aim down. This is you as far as it goes. So if I go up this hill, I can only fire this far down. So if there's anybody underneath me now, I cannot fire. Only after I pass the hill. Did I get the ar did they get the archer? Thank you very much. Awesome. Why is he machine gun? P26 down. Okay, let's move out to B. We're pretty safe here. We're already starting to spawn camp. I doubt they actually reach their spawn before um, the actual match is over, so. Yeah. Machine gun collab, I gotta reload. Yeah, even the machine guns have a reload, guys. Here we go. You all heard that sound. Yeah, actually, I will show you guys. Uh, let's see. If there's around this corner, let's say there's an enemy. Actually, for the last, uh, the last episode thing. Or if the jumbo. You got you got your enemy right here on the that side. He's gonna bounce in the armor. Attention to the designated grid zone. Gonna shoot and then move back in. Gonna reload this single shell because I wanna have full ammo. I mean if you would go out like this, you have much less sloped armor, it's much flatter and you have much lower chance of bouncing. Is it even more important for the weaker armored um, vehicles that need bounces to survive instead of um, uh, like armor. There's a guy on the left there. Let's see if I got support. I have armor range. This guy is pretty decent. The ballistics or the D34B got a 3 inch gun carrier. What does it did a 3 inch gun carrier do there? It's slow. It's a ugly box. What did it do over there? Not for real. So got a lot of tracer fire over there. So, well, let's see what we got here. So the little T thirty four is pretty damn fast. It's one of the best all around tanks if you do not take the lack of gun depression in consideration. Oh, it looks like they're fighting each other. Oh, GG guys. Didn't do that well with the ASU. I hoped that I would have stayed in the run more. And without that cap as well. It's kind of a bad run, but I did decent, I guess. Little ASU. I re does re do really like it. But yeah, let's compare it with the KV1 S5. <laughs> the very big brother. S5 is also 4 3 battle rating. But it takes on the role as heavy tank instead of light tank. So, well, light tank destroyed really. Or light self belt gun or whatever you want to prefer. Oh, we got ourselves a winter map, boys. Oh, am I taking fragmentation shells with this one? Don't need really need those. This should be good. 
the less shells, the higher your survivability because the lower amount of actual um, ammo racks will be filled. Although you do have to consideration, uh, if they're, even if they're filled with one shell, you still um, have a chance of it detonating. Uh, uh, detonation chance is actually the same with one shell or entire pool. It's just per rack only. But then you, you just have to one advantage of um, being able to. Uh, if you um, you can, um, if you know the amount of ammo per, uh, per rack and how the wrecking goes, you can just take an optimal amount. But to do that, to do that, you would probably have to look it up. I, I can't remember all the numbers. So I have to look it up as well. A little bit too complicated. Yeah, that's for a to see. But you know what, guys? Because of the meme, because of the map review I did across that last, so let's rush B. In an heavy tank, let's rush B. Sika Blia, the red should rush B. I can't get points at C anymore anyways because they're already rushed to C. So I'll rush B instead. Uh, to be fair I think I'll stop behind this building otherwise I will probably die even in this happy time. This thing is not as effective as Jumbo. Oh that's a Wolverine. Now oh, that rush B as well. So let's see, do we got a target? Let's hog this wall a little bit more. Is your restaurant corner? Let's say hello to him from the rear. Watch the left. The light forces have captured a zone. It's probably gonna be jumbo. Yeah, we got America enemies. Yep, that's a jumbo. Oh, I died. Oh well. As happens, I guess if you're too slow, like they freaking gave you one. Okay, where did that come from? Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you, gave you one. Saved my life from that Cromwell. Capping, it's good. If I'd realized it was uh, Jumbo, I'd just go in front because Jumbo's cannot penetrate the KV1, but the guy uh, frontally, but the KV1 can also not penetrate the Jumbo front. So I guess that's fair play. That's a push up. We're probably gonna have some second wave players going up pretty soon. They got closed air support, that's not good, let's hope it does not see me. That would be bad. Just stand still for a moment. Where is it going? 
Okay, that's for me. Good. Oh, hello, SBAA. You not seeing me is kind of bad for you. How oh, did he not see me? <laughs> I'm gonna do a pretty riskful maneuver, but I'm gonna try to get to C from here. All the defenders will be watching the other way, so I don't. Ha I only have to watch my back and be sure I do not drive in front of somebody that's right here already. And I should be good. Ah, crap. We have taken the initiative. It's not about. Oh, God. Not a great match. Don't have fire prevention, so I'm dead again. That happens if you do not fully research your tank, guys. That's a hard time. Or you have to pull through until you have researched it properly. I guess go over to ASU 57 and I'll go rush C. Oh, I actually keep the capping B. Oh, damn. Oh, well, it's time for my bush again. My little bush. My bib. Hi, baby. <laughs> so tiny. So it's a funny tactic. You can actually ram some tanks. Just frontally. Ram your gun into the side. And they will not have the gun pressure to deal with you. Especially... Um, stolen Russian tanks. If, the, if they have the same gun as the original group. You will not be able to have the enough gun repression. Big brother T34 protect me. Drive hole in wall so I can go to his but Oh, there's already one. Hole in the wall, that's good. Going in your shadow. You'll be my official cover, boy. Do it. Let's go. I'm so tiny, though, nobody will notice. Nobody will notice if they're from the front. From the side, they'll probably shoot him first anyway, so... I'm in a good spot behind the C-34. Oh, Good cover from here. I really want to cap C right now, so there's no time to get all the way around. It was like last time, and I'll probably get killed by that. That was a tank wreckage. Just panic it. Just a moment. Thank you, close air support. Thank you. Rockets, I hate you. That's the current issue with War Thunder. American attackers, British attackers, and Soviet attackers having these extremely powerful rockets. Yeah, those rockets are a big issue. I mean, let's take a look at mine. Aviation 3 in the British. I got up to the Typhoon Mark 1A. Let's take its modifications. Uh, actually, sorry, just the wrong one. I mean the Hurricane. Ooh, what the hell is going on? Hurricane. This one. Modifications. Okay, you got these RP3 rockets. You got eight of them. Four on each wing. 
Okay, being in a, a realistic battle means that you will fire two of them at a time. One of each wing at a time. But these things are one hit kill if you directly hit your targets. Having four volleys of two workers each, if you know how to aim them, you can get four kills with these without fearing retaliation. And after that, you can go to your airfield and reload them. They're just plainly overpowered. I mean, you got these cannons versions on the special 40mm cannons on the Hurricane Rock 4. The Vickers 40mm cannons, they are insane. Right, right, that's Hurricane Mark IV. You look at those cannons. Look at those huge freaking cannons on this plane. Those things, if you hit a pl uh, plane right, it will simply one shot them. And it will just simply fall apart with the HE. But it, these gun, uh, this gun can also get armor piercing. Armor targets. Shoot armor piercing tracer rounds so with 70 millimeter penetration. Well, because you're probably gonna be at 500 meters, it's gonna be around four, uh, around 60 millimeter span. But 60 millimeter span from above is easy enough to penetrate something. But you will only set them on fire or something, or get one or two crew members. With these eight rockets, you get four volleys, and you'll just nuke the crap out of it, and it starts a 2.0 battle already. How overpowered can you get it, boys? I can get more. I can easily get more kills with this plane than with most tanks. I will have a difficult time if I want to get that many kills with a tank. But four kills on this plane is no problem at all, and that's for me really just a bummer. I mean. What they do is they take an anti-air vehicle, let's say if we go to the army again, uh, version is the, there's a little car, the T-70E2 or the AC Mark II AA, 1.7 better rating on the T-17, it's very fast, it, they will simply rush A, B or C, once they kept it they will self-destruct and they will get into this freaking plane, that's all they do, they don't play tank RB, is the, they just playing plain RB against ground stomping. I don't really play tank RB anymore, and it's not a really normal tank RB in general, anyways. Anyways, please comment down below what your thoughts are on the uh, planes and the balance between these little small tanks and compared to the big tanks. Now, my guys, I did have fire prevention. So, and um, repairs would take really long and yeah I got this flank in the back but at the front this thing does have some really good protection and you've got this 75 millimeter frontal plate and then 25 millimeter at the top and 90 millimeters up front okay 75 right here in this bulge if you know where to aim it has a chance to bounce though in this part and easily exceeds the higher are actually expression right here it's more than the 90 millimeters that's all around of this hole yeah and this one 75 for all around 75 right here this one's only 3.7 this one's 4.3 they are pretty tough tanks here but anyways yeah that's about it for this uh, episode guys I want to thank you all for watching uh, please comment down below what you guys think about the close air support and the balance between these very lightly armored vehicles like the A357, uh, M18 Hellcat. So I can go to the top tanks, the M18 Hellcat, and compare it to stuff like the T28 uh, Super Heavy Tank, which I showed off in another episode as well. And yeah, well, just please comment down below what your thoughts about those things are. And I will see you guys all later. Bye-bye.